Okay, finally we're going to get around to having sprites uh, participate in the slideshow. And uh, let's, uh, let's use more than one. We'll uh, rename this one as cat. And let's find another sprite to use. Uh, let's go with people. And let's find someone who's uh, facing to the right. Ah, here's Nathan. Okay. Well, he's not facing to the right, but the heck with him. All right. Nathan. All right. So, let's go back to the stage. And the way we're going to do this is every time we change the slide, we will send out a message alerting sprites that they have to take a look and see whether they have something to do for this particular slide. So we'll go to control and for the down key we will broadcast uh, slide changed. You can call this whatever you want of course. And we'll do the same thing for the down arrow And we've basically stopped using the space bar, so let's get rid of this so we're not confusing things. And let's send the message out when we initialize things as well. Okay, now for each sprite, we need to um, also initialize them. So for the cat, let's get a green flag. Uh, let's decide where the cat is going to be when it starts out. Let's put it there and um, uh, we'll get a go to to make sure it's in the right position. And then what we're going to hide it because um, if the cat is not doing something, uh, we don't want it to show. You might want it to show when it's not doing anything, but let's make things a little more complicated so that you can see how this will work. So for looks, uh, we're going to get a hide. And for Nathan, we're going to do the same thing. We'll get a green flag and uh, get a go to to make sure he's in the right position. And then we're going to hide him. Okay, so we hit the green flag. Our sprites get hidden. So far, so good. And one thing I've forgotten to do so far is uh, to start out with a title slide. So let's do that right now. We'll um, uh, just hit paint here. And uh, let's, um, let's choose a background for our title slide. Let's choose, uh, uh, oh, oh, let's see, uh, a light green shade. So we'll take the paint bucket choose a light green, solid color, and paint it. And now let's choose a title for our slideshow. So we'll hit the text tool and just say my slide show. Not very imaginative, but it illustrates the point. So we'll center this. And it's at the bottom, so we'll just drag it and move it to the top. Okay, so um, we have um, five slides, and let's let's plan out our show. Uh, so for when uh, our Star Trek slide appears, I want the cat to appear and say "Space: The Final Frontier," and when um, this uh, Pillars of Creation. Um, Nebula sh slot shows up, I want Nathan to pop up and say, wow, that's awesome. Okay, not, not too impressive, but um, that will, again, illustrate our point. So let's go to the cat. So the slide we want the cat to appear for is slide two.
See that right there? And if we get these in a different order, that number will change. So this is uh, something where we can, uh, where we're apt to make mistakes. So let's pay attention to that. Okay, we'll we'll click on the cat here, and uh, we're not going to bother about uh, changing costumes with him. So whenever we change the slide, we want the cat to receive slide changed. And then the cat has to decide whether it has something to do in that slide. And the way we'll make that determination is what, with one of these if-else conditionals. And to determine what slide the cat is in, we're going to need a comparison operator. And as a matter of fact, we need an equals operator. And remember, we want the cat to do its performance for slide number two. Okay, so we go back here to the script and fill in a two. And uh, we then we compare that with the slide number. Remember that the variable slide number, let's go back to the stage script here. Um, every time we hit an arrow key, we ch change the slide number and then switch to the background corresponding to that slide number. So the slide number up here is always going to be the number of the, the background that's, slow, that's showing, and thus the number of our slide. So if slide number equals 2, the cat is hidden. So first of all, we have to show the cat. So we go to looks and get show here. And now let's have the cat say what we want him to say. Uh, space. Whoops. Uh, final frontier. OK, and the, if the cat uh, if this is not slide number two, the cat's already hidden, but uh, maybe the cat was left showing from a previous slide or something. So uh, let's let's put in another hide here uh, to play it safe. All right. So let's see what we've got so far. Let's uh, initialize the show. Oops, I made a mistake. I added the title slide, but I forgot to. Uh, uh, initialize the background. And in fact, we can do this uh, in, a, in the same manner as we do it here. So instead of switching to the specific background, let's set the slide to number one first, and then put the slide number in here, and now it should work properly. When we hit the green flag, we go to the title slide. Okay, so when we hit the down key, the cat pops up and says, space the final frontier. And that looks a little bit um, uh, odd. Uh, he, he appears too quickly. So let's, let's try and make that a little more attractive. Let's put a little delay in here. So the cat will wait just a moment. Let's try it now. There we go. And we could also have a little delay from when the cat appears to when it starts talking. So let's put that in here. Let's try it again. OK, I like that. And notice that when we go to the next slide, the cat disappears again. So the cat will only appear for that slide. Now, if we go past the bottom, um, Notice with the slide number up here that our slides will reappear, uh, but the cat will not because the number is no longer matching. So that this only works for the first time around. If you know a little more math, you can fix that, uh, but I'm not going to go into that here. So and now if we want um, to uh, have Nathan do something, we can take a shortcut, because we already have a lot of the uh, code structure that we need. And we'll just copy this over to Nathan. And then let's go over to Nathan. And we'll just change things. We'll have him respond to slide 3 and said. And we'll change what he has to say.
and now he should be ready to go. He should uh, uh, make his appearance in slide number three. So let's initialize. Next slide. Next slide. He's kind of looking in the wrong direction, but that's okay. And so forth. Now if we want one of our characters to respond uh, to more than one slide, we're really ready to do that. All we have to do is make a copy of this by doing right click and duplicate and snap that on the bottom. And if I want the cat to respond to slide 4 as well, then I can do that. And what should the cat say to the president? Um, Hi, Mr. Prez. Okay, so now the cat will have a role to play in slides 2 and slide 4. Let's initialize. Next. 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 This is obviously not the only way you can have uh, sprites participate, and you can also have uh, them do other things, uh, use other means of control. But I think this is pretty um, a pretty good system for someone who's just getting started. So I suggest you uh, uh, play with this and get comfortable with it. Okay, that's all for now.